Soil testing is an important part of greenhouse crop production. I've asked Doug Cox from the University of Massachusetts, he's the greenhouse specialist, to talk about taking a soil sample and soil testing for greenhouse crop production. To take a good soil sample, you need to select plants that are representative of the crop and, and or the problem that you intend to diagnose. If it's a problem, you need to select normal plants and also the abnormal plants. Normally we recommend that you sample 10, 10 plants out of, a out of a thousand and that you collect the soil from those 10 plants, combine it together and then I'll take about a half a cup as the final sample for analysis. The second key to doing a good soil test is the, how you sample the soil. So using this poinsettia plant as an example, you want to avoid taking soil from the upper layer of the pot because the salts are the highest in the upper layer. You want to take your soil sample either from a, a large composite sample, which might include the into all of the soil in one pot, remembering that the plant will be sacrificed when you do that. Or you want to sample from the root zone. Or you could use one of these soil cores that would push all the way through all of the different depths in the pot and give you a soil test, test like that. What I'm going to do is sample from the uh, root zone. And what we're going to do there is to take a sample very carefully off of this. We want to disturb the roots as little as possible because when we put this plant back in the pot, we're going to use fresh soil and hope that it will root out and recover from the, from the sampling procedure. You're going to take 10 of these handfuls from the 10 pots that you've selected to sample. You're going to take a half a cup out of that and then put it in a baggie or other plastic bag and you're all set to uh, save the soil for the, for the analysis. The soil could be sent to a commercial lab, a university lab like the UMass lab on campus here in Amherst, or you could do the testing yourself using the pH pens and some other pH and EC meters that are available to you. If you send the sample to a commercial lab, you want to provide information about what the crop is, what stage of development that it's at, what fertilizers have been used to fertilize it, whether it's water soluble or controlled release fertilizer, the, the rate that's been applied either in parts per million or ounces per pot, tell whether it's a soilless mix or a mix that might contain some soil and then if it's a problem you need to describe the problem so that you can get the best interpretation when the soil test is returned to you. More information on soil sampling, soil testing, analysis and interpretation is available on the UMass Extension Greenhouse Crops and Floriculture website.